This video will show you a few more percent word problems. This is the topic of percent increase or decrease. And all percent increase and decrease refers to is it's the amount of increase or decrease divided by the original amount. That means we're going to have a fraction with the original amount on the bottom. And the top here is just going to be the difference between the two values. Either we started with something and it increased, or we started with a value and it decreased. So here we have a salary increased from 30000 to 32000 What is the percent of increase? It has to be a percent of increase because it went from 30000 up to 32000 So we're going to subtract these values and put it over the original amount. So we have 32000 minus 3000 over 30000 It is always over the original amount. That means sometimes it's a big number on the bottom, sometimes it's the smaller number on the bottom, but it is always the original amount on the bottom. Do this subtraction and you get 2,000. And now this is a fraction. You're asked to find the amount of percent increase. So what we have to do is change this fraction to a percent. You can use your calculator and just divide 2,000 by 30,000 gives us this repeating decimal. But that's still just a decimal representation. You need to change that to a percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right. And in this case, we're going to get this repeating number that we're going to just round off to 6.7%. Another one. A car is bought for $20,000 and sold a year later for $18,000. So this went from $20,000 down to $18,000. So logically, we're going to be asked for the percent of decrease. So we're going to start by subtracting these values right here. And that goes on the top. And the bottom is the original amount, the $20,000. Do your subtraction. Gives you $2,000 over $20,000. Use your calculator. And if you're using a calculator to change a fraction to a decimal, be sure you divide the top by the bottom, what goes into the calculator is 2,000 divided by 20,000. Gives you the decimal point 0.1. We need to move that decimal point two places to the right, put a little zero in the space there, and that gives us a 10% increase. If you had to do this by hand, I would say, you know, cancel out the zeros, a zero in the top with a zero in the bottom, then gives us 2 over 20, which you could reduce to the fraction 1 tenth. And if you have to divide this out by hand, extend this line, draw your curve, bring the 1 down, give it a decimal point and a couple zeros, and then start your dividing. This decimal point comes straight up, 10 goes into 10 once, and there's your point 1. So if you have to do the division by hand, I would suggest you reduce it out as far as it will go, and then do your division. You'll get a decimal. Remember to move your decimal point two places to the right to get a percent. Another application of percents is interest. And the one formula we're going to look at is called the simple interest formula. And it's just simply I equals PRT. It's just a matter of multiplying three numbers together, and that gives you the simple interest. Now, this interest could either be money that you are depositing in a bank, like a savings account, or it could be money you are borrowing. There are several other more complicated interest formulas. This is just the simple interest formula that we're going to do. So in this formula, the P stands for principal, which is the original amount of money, either the money that you are depositing or the amount of money you're borrowing. R is your rate. It must be expressed as a decimal. And T is time, and it must be expressed in years. That's going to matter on the last problem we do. So find the amount of simple interest if $2,000 is invested at 3% for two years. Here's the three things you need. Here's your P, here's your R, and here's your T. Your T is in years. That's great. We don't have to do anything special about it. The only special thing we have to do is change this 3% to a rate being a decimal. So P went in, or 2,000 went in for P. 0 0.03, because we have to take that decimal and move it two places back to the left, gives us 0 0.03 times 2. Type it in the calculator or multiply it by hand, and you get $120 of interest. If by some chance you're asked for the total amount, you could take your 2,000 plus your 120 and come up with $2,120 in the account at the end of this two years. Find the amount of simple interest at $2,100 is invested at 1.5% for two years. Here's your P, here's your R, here's your T, no big deal. Just remember that decimal point is going to have to move two places to the left when you write it as a rate. 
So 2100 times 0 0.015, because if that moved two places to the left, you're going to have to add a zero in that little space, times two, type it in, gives you $63 of interest earned. The one little thing you ought to be careful of is this. Here's time expressed in months. To use the formula, you have to have it expressed in years. So here's your formula. 200 is your P, 3% is 0.03, and what I did here is I just wrote this as a fraction. Six months is six twelfths of a year because there are 12 months in a year. You can type that in the calculator as 200 times 0.03 times 6 and then divide by 12 and that will give you $3. Now in this case, six months you should know is half of a year. So instead of writing 6 twelfths, I could have just done the decimal 200 times 0.03 times 0.5. The reason I show you this is if by some chance this is some weird number like seven months, you don't know what seven months is. It's seven twelfths of a year. There is no decimal that comes to mind for that. If this had been seven months, well then all you'd have to do is put a seven here over 12, do the same multiplication, divide by 12, and then you'd have your amount of interest.